All right, we're at ICCC, day two. Space Buns and Sleeping Collectibles here. We got our smoothie, we got our coffee. We're going in. Toys, we're coming for you. I almost just tripped on a curb. That's what you just saw. Clumsy giant. Let's get it. just dropped in and uh, I met Timothy Zahn, had him sign a copy of Thrawn. I haven't read Thrawn, uh, Nerd Confession, so it'll be the first time I read it and I'm gonna read an autographed copy, which is cool. And uh, Space Bones over here looking at Ewok plushies on the ground. We might end up taking one of those home. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna wander around this booth a little bit. Really like Imperial Shadow Squadron, that's really cool. Jawa with a box, 125. That is really cool. Got our orange lines over here. There's an orange line Slave Leia right there on the corner. Yeah, definitely cool stuff. Got some Thundercats back here. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna spend as much money as yesterday, but we're definitely gonna drop a few dimes. So Space Bones just got pulled aside by this lovely couple over here who asked if she would put the wife's hair into Space Buns like hers, like her trademark hair. They liked her hair so much they wanted their, her wife to have the same hair. So she's over there setting it up right now. It's probably the cutest thing I've seen all day. How awesome. I love it. Space Buns putting in work here at the con. Look at her over there meeting people. I'm a proud YouTuber today. Let's keep buying some things. I just bought a vintage R2 here at this stand. Uh, it's loose, but it's complete, and it's only 10 bucks, so that's a win. Five Idiots Talking Toys, selling me a vintage R2-D2. It's in this bag right here with my Thrawn book. All right, let's keep looking around. We got more stuff to find. I'll do a toy haul at the end of this. Uh, maybe not this video, but at the end of the con, I'll do a giant toy haul, and we'll get a bunch of stuff done. Show you this giant pile of loot that I'm walking away with. That's it. I want to show Kevin that I got the... Got the Gil Chris here. Amazing Arnold and Pops. Very, very cool. Such a nice guy. Oh, yeah. So much good art here, too. I think it's something that people don't really talk about in this joint, is the art that's available. You got to build your own Lego table over here. We got a bunch of Lego displays. We've got some incredible cosplay action going on. This feels like home, guys. Love this. Alright, very, very cool. Let's do it. Let's go back in here and get a few more last pieces. I really like this Godzilla diorama. That is really cool. I dig it. I've been really getting into gallery diorama a lot more lately. Got Beowulf. Got some uh, Vampire Angel, some Iron Fist. Hulk, Storm, Rescue. Space Buns has found a Sailor Moon band presto she might end up buying. I think around a little on this other side. Star Wars manga, some Harry Potter stuff, some ornaments, got some pops, some silly stuff, giant dewback, holy cow, Masterpiece Anakin, Masterpiece 3PO, some comic books, I've never seen manga Star Wars before, look at that Han Solo, what's going brother, how's it going, got Seth dropping in, what's up guy, really good? All right, where are we going now? What's next in the old agenda? Should we get some of those we talked about last night? Yeah, we might. Let's dig in that $5 bin. All right, just picked up some $5 Star Wars fodder. Uh, and, a, and a vintage Chewie. Picked up uh, a vintage Chewie, bunch of power of the force, and uh, a Black Series Ray that I want to take out of the box and do some things with. Uh, small little roll. We'll make it work though. You guys know how we do it around here. We did a dance. Got a little Wampa right here. Some Thrawn. Got some comic books. Got that lightsaber stand again. We made some memories there yesterday, that's for sure. At At Park, that's awesome. 
tons of good stuff here. This Imperial Shadow Box. Uh, ooh, there's some comic books over there that I would like to check out. Definite winners over there. Very cool stuff down here. Right? It's crazy out there. Definitely like that Hulk one. It looks clean. Got some top toys, Star Wars stuff. Some figures over there. Oh, uh, we got Snake Bliskin up there. That's so cool. Also got Mando and Child. Got Boba. That snake looks really good. We got over here. Got Dark Spider. Got a Spider-Man. Some hot toy action over here. Got some statues. It's like a Wampa in box. Love that. Hmm. Got some Black Series boxes with some orange lines, some regular. Got a Funko Pops up there, some Bad Batch. Luke. Custom, that is so cool. Little Jabba. Wow, $200 for that. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Do you like that little $5 Jabba down there? Alright, let's keep going. We got a lot of stuff to take in. Alright, this booth right here was real good to me last night. I ended up buying that Scout Speeder from here, that Amazon exclusive. It's got a ton of great stuff. Priced pretty reasonably, too. Like that Revan Saber. Alright, let's go around and see what we got going on on this side of the world. And we're back to this side. I think we might be nearing the end of the con, guys been around this loop so many times that's still awe-inspiring I love it that looks so good Wow all right let's go little miss face bones right here just saw a little girl wearing a Sylveon costume and had to go buy her a Sylveon little print her heart's too big she's cute it was an adorable little moment I wish I would have recorded it all right back to the toy action We've got full creative control over the grievances the one that's not five feet in the air, probably the better option. I just bought that Grievous. And she just got an Ewok bag. Look at that, look at that pile. That beautiful pile of stuff. All the goodies. <laughs> yes. Pardon? Yeah. No. Don't All right. Okay. I was like, where'd my phone just go? We just bought that. How do you feel? Hulkbuster Stormtrooper. A little Mecha Trooper action. Very, very cool. A lot of awesome stuff here. You ready to step away for a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Look at my bag. This is a cute bag. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Age dimension, I'm looking at you. This is awesome. You would love it. You would love it. Taking the con, boys. Taking the con. Which is? Which is awesome. What's your favorite from the wave? That's tough. I mean, I feel like it's a tie between Echo and Ahsoka, but probably Echo. I think Echo and Death Watch for me, they just look fun. The bottom yeah, Echo is beautiful. Is, it's amazing. The color, it just it displays really well. I know with my pre-order list, if Joey were to ever find out what I have on pre-order, he's probably going to kill me. I think I have like 12 sideshow pieces that are coming, and I actually had to change the address of where everything was getting delivered. I got it now being delivered to work. Listen, you can have them delivered to my house if you want. I promise you'll get most of them. Yeah. Yeah. 
We dropped into the mall to this little pop culture store on the way and we found this awesome Gunpla section. Build your own Magikarp? Oh yeah. Wow, there's so many cool kits here. Quebly, and a straight red frame. Zaku 2. Helios. And then of course we have our figures. We got Boo, we got Sully, the Ultraman stuff. We got our fighting armor Wolverine. We got Voltron up there. Oh, that's so sick. $500. Stanley Hot Toy. Got some Thor. Spider-Man, Wonder Woman. Got some SH figure arts. Some nice stuff here. Maleficent statue. That's cool. Down here, we got some more. Got some NECA. We got some Storm collectibles. Mortal Kombat is Reptile. Kung Lao. Oh man, if I didn't just spend all my money at the con, I might have spent a year, honestly. DBZ, you got a Bulma, some Gokus, Piccolo, you got Char Zaku right here. Awesome kit, metal composite frames, Berserker, all kinds of cool stuff. This place is wild. Definitely a place I could lose some money. Huge Funko section in the front. Death Scythe up there awesome kit section all right so we're taking a little break from the con we've been at the mall shopping we just hit that collectible store we hit hot topic all the normal haunts and now we're at this aquarium restaurant I'm about to eat some seafood because like <laughs> gonna have some louisiana pasta uh look at the big old swordfish coming right now uh, there he is over there right there i don't even know if that's a swordfish Kind of looks like one. Yep, that's us. Thank you so much. Hit them with that nom nom. BRB, guys. All right, we're done our, we're done our dinner, and uh, it is movie time. The all new Sportage Expo. 40X Theater. We're gonna see the Dumbledore movie. We're gonna enjoy this Nashville trip for everything it's got. All right, so we dropped back in the con to check in with a few people, and it's wrapping up for the day. Tables are being cleared. We're going to wander about and uh, schmingle for a little bit, and uh, then we'll probably go back to the hotel room and watch Moon Knight, eat some cookies and some Jack in the Box. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, another Target. We're in Franklin, Tennessee. Got Space Ones here with me. When are they just going to rename this place Sleeping? I feel like I'm here all the time. They may as well just change the name to me. Sleeping Collectibles. I like that. You guys sign off on that? I'm sure you guys would. You guys could buy your Funko Pops and action figures that's sleeping. By the way, I like this shirt on me. This shirt's nice. Let's go in. Let's go buy toys. I am beat from this con and I need some toys. Ooh, this is one of those bougie targets that has a Disney spot. Look at this, guys. We got a little Disney TV action going on. We got a little Star Wars section. Wreckers hanging out. Princess Leia, Obi-Wan. Bunch of wreckers, some shore troopers, some Obies, a bunch of baby Greedos, some baby Wookies. Let's see what we got. Let's go in. Really just looking for WWE Ultimate Batista. That's really the only thing on my list from Target that I want right now. Uh, we'll look around though, we'll see what we come up with. There's that Thor hammer again. I like that a lot. All right, here we go, here we go. Well, I see no WWE Ultimate, so that's immediately out. Do see Ortiz, MJF, me and Mark Callis, we got Sheeta, Sheeta. Yeah, I'm good on all that. Uh, Rock, Triple H. Do have uh, Master Universe, He-Man, 1359, that's kind of cool. We do like that, we got our Pokemon Pops down here. This store is hopping with children right now. Hopping. There's an Apatosaurus. Patasaurus back there too. Going over here real quick. Ah, there's a lot of people over there. We're gonna skip that right now. Uh, oh, that's weird. These aisles are laid out strange. I see a bunch of Gorilla Grodd, which is weird. Got Batman, got Batgirl, got Suicide Squad. We got our Ninja Rangers from Power Rangers Lightning Collection. We got Blight hanging out. Got America Chavez, of course. Got a Doctor Strange diorama. I just picked that up for $14. Thanks to good old Space Buns. 
Got some Death Note statues, got some Gunpla action. But nothing that I really need. Nothing's calling out to me right now. I'm gonna look over NECA collectibles and see what's going on over there, but honestly, we might just be good. We might not need to buy anything right now. Got a little end cap right here. Little shipper, Nijax, Jake Hager, Jeff Hardy's hanging out. Nothing that I really need. Oh boy. You guys ever have those days where you just want to punt a 12 year old? Because uh, I'm having one of those days right now. There we go down here. Got some Kong E Boys, some Back to the Future. Got some Doctor Strange, Raven Spawn, some Wanda. There's a Zola Vision. Got Kate Bishop, got Cheshire Cats, got our Turtles Art series, but nothing else. Looks like everything else is pretty business as usual, you guys know. Nothing that I need, guys. All right, I'm tapping out for now. I'm going to walk around, see if I can't come across anything on my own, but I think we might be good. I'll come back if I find anything. See you soon. All right, guys, I'm in Franklin, Tennessee at uh, Franklin Target right now, and I have a fun little little target trick for you, a little hi hidden clearance action. We got these DC Multiverse figures. We got Joker Boys, $22.99, right? They are not $22.99. Uh, I've seen it at some Targets around the country. These have actually been clearance to 6 bucks, and they're not advertising it. So this Joker, which we're going to scan right here, rings up $5.99. Let's check it out. If you guys have been holding off on your Jokers, your Red Hoods, your Batman figures and stuff, always scan them, even if the tag says $22, because six bucks is a win. We're grabbing a Joker for six bucks. Check it out always, guys. Target has hidden clearance, and only some Targets advertise it. It's wild. Grab your figures for cheap. Don't pay full price. Sleeping Collectible says so. All right, so we were walking around. I didn't find anything new or exciting, but I did find a whole basket of clearance stuff. And look at that, the Land Shark for $9. Those Jokers for $5 each. Those, I don't know, Battle World, Marvel, whatever they are, they're only five bucks each. So about to clean up on a whole bunch of like clearance stuff. And uh, that's always a win. And she got complimented. She looks cute as always, but clearance toys. Leaving Target with a bag for the cheap cheap. Let's go. All right, guys, you know the rule. We can't just stop at Target. We've also got to stop at the Walmart, Franklin, Tennessee, Space Buns and Sleeping Collectibles. We are about to, I don't know. I've literally bought everything I could possibly buy this week. So I don't know what's left. Uh, some Thor Love and Thunder figures. I might buy those if I find them. Other than that, we're just kind of seeing what's happening. We in the building. A little figure digger action. Shout out to figure digger. Hope you're doing well, brother. Let's get some toys. All right, guys, at the Target toy section. Actually, this isn't even a toy section. This is a collectible section. It is loud. We got our biggie boys. We got some pops. Some I haven't seen before, like Queen's Gambit and such, but we don't need those. There's an Eternals box down here. It's got the Walmart exclusives in it. Got some uh, some pins here. I just knocked a bunch of them down because I'm clumsy. I like to search these pins now looking for chases because, you know, I'm done with these. We're just going to leave those on the shelf and walk away. Got our... Uh, well, we got our Ultimate April O'Neil here. We got two of those. Got some Coraline. Got our McCready. Got our Tanjiro. Got our Funko Gold. But there's nothing that I need. This is all kind of meh. Let's go over to action figures. Maybe there's something over there. All right, guys. We found action figures. We got Dino Land. Uh, I do have a bulkhead. That's kind of cool. See Decepticon Sweep. We got our Little Legacy. We got those new Lightyear figs. Got more down there. Down oh, we have Batman Gold labels we got three of them here hanging out no marvel legends just master mordo hanging up up top no love and thunder for me today do have our dc stuff star wars is looking pretty dead oof it's looking like a typical walmart trip at this point uh we got some roblox got one candace LeRae hanging out do have some etbs got vivid voltage darkness blaze more vivid in darkness somebody help themselves to some darkness I uh, got some packs up there. Got He Man. Got Ric Flair. Do have a Stone Cold for twenty one eighty eight. That's a terrible clearance. Sarge. Nijax. Paula Cruz. 
Braun Strowman. We don't really need any of those. Do you have a Miro? Got some stings hanging up back here. Two of them. Miro, Miro, Nyla, Ray, Nyla, Jake, Sheeta. Do got two more stings though. I have found so many of those stings in my lifetime. Every time I go to Walmart, there's Walmart stings hanging. Do you have bee swarm toys? I know some folks that were looking for those. Got some Drew McIntyre. Okay. Oh, wouldn't be a sleeping collectibles toy hunt without my man Otis. Look at those eyes. Whew. How much is this figure? It can't be very much. We might buy Otis today. We might put a cap on this. Do got a set up there as well. Also have some elites up there as well. And then we have some two packs up there as well. All right. All right. Got a little bit of stuff. Let me see if I can't track down a clearance aisle. Let me find some other things. Let's keep moving. That Otis was $23. Nope. I have no interest in Otis for that price. Maybe at like seven. I'd buy an Otis for seven bucks, not for 23. Pass.